Are you okay? We almost... Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on them without you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. up on purpose, did you? No, who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. But how? There is always a way. <laughs> Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. <laughs>
It is beyond reason, Atreus!
It is beyond reason, Atreus. Reason, Atreus. Show mercy. to attack. Yeah! 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 
to attack. Ah! 
My folly got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. Another locked door. Yes, sigil arrows don't work on that. gonna stay open. The gear's behind that gate. There's gotta be a way to free right? Alka. Don't work on that. Do you have an idea? Hmm. Maybe we can use my sigils to carry the frost to the gear. Alka! the counterweights. They could make a bridge for Frost. Ah! Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. Sigil arrows don't work on that.
Gates you are gone. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe me.
Find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I won better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! Can you keep 
keep this up. We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. I saw you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. Something that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? Hmm. See what I can do when you trust me? Hmm. Oh.
We should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. It's open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Okay. Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. more than one sigil. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. <laughs> Look, it's Rosvulger. Should we talk to her? I have it. What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. 
You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, all right? To know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. to go. The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Namir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Was it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So 
So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I you know I'm not Any of you are perfect. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone John stiff to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged, more like. Hey, wait. We're with you.
travel to Nanaheim. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Hey, is that soundstone on that log? I could get us past it. That barricade wasn't there last time. Freya's group has been busy. this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. There we go. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. Do you know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. 
Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this wall. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Einherjar. How'd that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. If the old swine still carried a grudge, <laughs> you'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, <laughs> conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. <laughs> Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But still, it's privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Oh, 
Vanaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. What? The Noken's making these things stronger! <laughs> Behind you, brother! <laughs> On your right! Yeah, stay quiet! This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Thought Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior. Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, he raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Big sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. Brother! Get up, brother! So besides Hilda Trini and the elves, who else is part of the <laughs> army? Not my <laughs> army, really. Old oh, dear girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Stop. Ain't no your head. I'm ready. Ne en mungere sa. 
Hildesvini and the elves. Who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Alcum! I believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, this is definitely an ambush. Yes. Careful, 
mother! You're covered in black <laughs> Behind you, brother! Nothing! Hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! <laughs> <laughs>
There! He's going up the waterfall! She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Yeah! 